Hello friends, in this video we will learn about various container components that can be used for the analysis application in Design Studio. So this uh, container components includes like grid layout, panel, then uh, tab strip and uh, panel uh, filter panel components like that. So let's start with this. I have created one, one of the project here to just to get started. Uh, I have added two data sources. So the first uh, thing means we will add a panel uh, component. So panel is an, uh, again another container component where we can add image or text or any other component. So uh, for now, uh, the first component I will add like uh, in this image, like suppose I wanted to add a logo in our application. So how we can add it, I can just drag this uh, image icon uh, image component here in this panel and uh, in the image properties if you see on the uh, right side uh, there is an option in display uh, image so i can choose an image from here uh, so this is from a bi platform uh, server so here if you see means uh, i will add one of the image uh, as a logo this got added so I'll just expand this and suppose I wanted to give a title for this my uh, analysis application so how we can do this means I can just add a text component from uh, basic components and I can just uh, place it in uh, panel suppose this is order analysis uh, data we can say means something like that so the formatting means we can change it means if you want uh, if you want to give some tool tip or if you want to give some css style like suppose i wanted to make it bold so from css uh, we can uh, do it okay so this is this is uh, a panel component which where I have added one image and a text uh, component. Now what I'll do I'll add one more uh, container component uh, which is tab strip. So which is again very useful uh, component container component where we can have multiple tabs and based on these multiple tabs we can. Uh, we can switch between different data. So this is tab one and tab two. So for uh, suppose I wanted to change this uh, tab one property, so I can just click on this tab one and I we can give the name. Like suppose I want to uh, give some. I wanted to display uh, divisions data, so I will say divisions and. Uh, for tab 2, uh, if I wanted to display top 10 customers, so that will uh, like this. So now, uh, as this has been uh, added, uh, I will just uh, increase its size. because we wanted to add some other components as well here. So in, in tab strip, we can add a grid layout. So where in grid layout, we can combine various components in a single block. Like uh, let's uh, take grid layout. So on the first tab, I wanted to add a grid layout. So I'll just drop it here and the layout I just wanted to overlap with the tab strip. So what I can do, I can just make more margins, zero margins from left, top, uh, bottom and right.
so that it would be uh, it looks good means uh, when we add this margins means it will almost uh, add and um, uh, in grid layouts we can add number of rows and columns so in rows and columns what we can do we can um, like make if i want to display two rows then i can do it means so first row i wanted to make it as a size of 2 uh, i wanted to make uh, size of the first row bit higher twice than the second number of columns uh, i wanted to do so see now if you see these are the four components which got added here now what we can do we can ha add it uh, uh, here uh, like suppose i wanted to add a cross tab so i can add a cross tab here this block so i will assign a data source for it that cross tab so this is one cross tab which got added uh, then let's see means i wanted to add a info chart as well the first component so in the first block of uh, second uh, row i wanted to have one uh, info chart so okay so here i i will add uh, one info chart and suppose i wanted to make it as a pie chart so from there i um, will so select a pie chart uh, and just click on ok so now the first info chart will display pie chart here in the first block and the second block i will add column chart say means let's uh, let's say a chart, column chart to display okay so this has been uh, like i will attach a uh, data source for it okay so this is done means in the first step i have added uh, one cross step and then um, so this this is uh, like one block i will be adding a filter so i'll show you means how we can add that filter uh, so i will say a dimension uh, not dimension filter uh, filter line or i can say just a fil filter panel So this uh, it has been more somewhere I am just okay so this filter panel I will add uh, DS1 again I can change means what all, what all means we wanted suppose I don't want a division so these, these are the filters available means we can choose uh, to have the data uh, let's me let me increase this uh, size so that it will look good okay so 
So this is a cross tab which I'll move here. This is filter panel. Then this is the info chart. Which I will just take font. This is another info chart. Okay, so I'll just make this size. Okay, so now uh, if I run this, now if you see this is uh, on the division staff, we have this for top 10 customers. I haven't added anything, so it is blank now, but uh, see this, these are the filters we have got and suppose I will be selecting some of the countries next. We will we'll see here filter. Suppose I wanted to have data for this uh, France and Germany. So you will see means this got changed, this values. This will display for only country France and um, Germany. Uh, all this will be uh, reflected, the data here. So now uh, what I will do, I will just add one cross tab in um, top 10 customers so this is one cross tab which is I am adding here so here I have I, I, I'm not using a grid layout I'm just placing uh, the component directly so this cross tab data is coming from other data so suppose this is a different uh, data uh, which which is uh, we wanted to display to the user so we can uh, we can have this now now we can add a, uh, here also we if you want to display some uh, filters so for the user interaction then we can do this suppose uh, i am adding a dimension filter here So let's see miss how, how dimension filters looks. Uh, so in dimension filters, I can just drag this. It can change, okay. Okay, so this is member display means in the filter, uh, if you see, we need to select the dimension so we can select it from here uh, suppose we wanted to have a, a let's see miss country we wanted to have in a dimension filter if you want others then also we can take it so let's see miss i'll just so in the top 10 customers you will see this is uh, this is uh, the filter uh, dimension filter got added here okay so one more filter i i wanted to show you means how we can uh, do this so this is filter panel not filter panel but a filter line if i add this in a filter line here yeah, how this means for this we can have this uh, data source uh, we can bind a ds2 for it and based on this we can change uh, the values for other components like cross tab and uh, info chart so let's see means for this top 10 customers if you go through this uh, if you close go on this means you will see all the dimensions which are there in that data source so here means on the regions we can uh, select uh, suppose we wanted to display the data for some of the regions so that way we can uh, get this change these values see this, uh, this got changed so that way uh, these are the filters we can apply means instead of this dim dimension filters also means we can have this uh, filter line which which will be uh, useful to uh, filter out the data so it's based on means what are the requirements uh, and 
how user wanted to see the data that so these are the number of ways means we can have these filters applied uh, to the different components and uh, these are the container components which we can use so i explained about uh, tab strip how we can add a grid layout in that tab strip different components in a grid layouts like cross tab info charts then i have shown you the panel uh, filter panel uh, panel component where we can add a image and text so that way it will look like a dashboard I mean, dashboard yes so this way this way we can uh, develop a application with the container components i hope you have understood this concept if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section and please like my video if, and subscribe to my channel so that you will get to know about my next video thank you for watching